All right, everybody. It's been a hot minute since I've been on the trail because of that finger injury. Goddamn fins. Anyways, uh, we're at the White Tanks Regional Park, as I'm sure you saw the intro. Uh, we're getting started. We're going to head up to the dry waterfall today. Uh, we're going to be going down South Trail, or should I say up South Trail, part of Goat Camp to get to that point. Now, it's about six miles round trip. Uh, the hike itself isn't going to be too bad. Trail Forks has it listed as a uh, double black diamond for part of it, but I'm pretty sure that's because of uh, mountain biking, and that's what they have it rated for mountain biking itself, which I would completely agree. But when all is said and done, I will give you guys my assessment on uh, how this trail goes for hikers and uh, what you can expect. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everybody, so we're about a half mile into the hike. Kind of feeling it a little bit. <laughs> Definitely, I mean, when you take time off, uh, whether it's because you got to work or in my case, an injury or anything like that, it does have an effect. So it's good to realize that, accept that, and know that you can't just jump right back on the trail and, you know, blast out a 10 to 15 mile hike. So there's going to be a residual effect as far as that goes. So. But yeah, so far so good. The weather's holding up. It's humid this morning, you know? It's not necessarily hot, but it's humid. So anyways, so let's keep pushing. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we find. All right, everybody. So we're coming up to the one mile mark. Um, I know that because the trail junction's coming up and it's roughly at one mile. <laughs> Advantages of this being my, uh, my backyard, uh, so to speak. So as you can see, we're going to be switching to goat camp from South Trail. And the thing with goat camp, it's, it's rocky. Uh, there's several rock gardens that you have to get through uh, to get to the switchbacks. The incline does click, kick up uh, quite a little bit, which I'll look on trail forks to see the exact gradient as far as the least to the steepest. And it's some place you wanna keep your eyes open. Uh, make sure you're cognizant of where you're stepping. Don't wanna twist an ankle. Don't wanna friggin' bash a toe. I've done that a few times. Uh, it's definitely no fun. So All right, guys. So we're just about to the base of the switchbacks. And this part is a little shitty. I'm not gonna lie. The, uh, the gradient definitely kicks up some. There's more rocks, more things you got to uh, be aware of. Not to trip and break your ass because nobody wants to do that, <laughs> injure themselves. So uh, this is also one of those parts where if you're a beginner, Definitely want to keep your eyes open. Uh, sometimes beginner uh, trail runners, hikers don't necessarily know what to look for. Um, and if you're an intermediate or an advanced trail runner or hiker, this is not the point where you want to become complacent uh, and kind of put it on cruise control. And no bueno, you'll get hurt. So as you can see, the sun is definitely coming up behind me. Clouds are burning off. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. So uh, let's keep going forward. All right guys, so we have made it to the base of the switchbacks and we are 1.9 miles in. And let me go ahead and face the camera there. That's where we're going. So you can see we got a little bit of a ways to get there and it's about a mile worth of switchbacks. Now, these switchbacks suck. 
in shape, out of shape, I don't care what shape. <laughs> Isosceles triangle shape. Uh, these switchbacks are no fun, but it's a good test. It's a good way to keep yourself fit and uh, yeah, something to shoot for as far as that goes. Now, going up, the gradient will definitely get extreme. There's a couple of spots here where it's the calves and your quads are gonna just light on fire. I mean, it's, it's ugly. And then there's some spots where it's not so bad. You know, I guess with everything, you take the good with the bad on that one. So anyways, uh, keep flip flat my jaws. Let's get moving forward, get up to the top of this thing and uh, check out the view from the dry waterfall. All right, everybody, so we're about halfway up the switchbacks. Eh, give or take, halfway up the switchbacks. And yeah, you can tell by my panting, it's a little rough. And I'm definitely feeling that, that two week hiatus while healing up. So, oh Lord, am I feeling it. But we've come a long way. You can kind of see down there into that valley area. Uh, quite the view and we still got a ways to go so no time to waste no time to piss and moan about it <laughs> hey boo boo let's get another pick and nigga basket jesus i'm delirious all right come on let's keep going all right guys Here's a much better view of where we're at. You can see down there, into the valley area, the trail of the switchbacks. Uh, that building off into the distance is actually uh, the library and the um, rec center. So, which is actually a really cool place. A lot of good activities for adults and children. So, and you can see we're coming up around the bend. I know, I love Creedence so. though. Um, so yeah, we're almost there, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, peek at what you can expect uh, being out here. And uh, that's not even the best view. Best view is up at the top, so let's keep moving. All right, guys, we're making that final push. So I don't know if you can see that cactus. It's missing its top. Looks like it's on its, you know, last limbs, no pun intended. That's pretty much the marker that says we're at the dry waterfall. And that rock cluster just in front of it is the edge of the dry waterfall. So we're definitely there um, as far as our destination, our goal. Um, and now the trail's starting to even out a little bit. The gradient's not as bad, although it's still kind of a, a nut buster in that regard. So, yeah, we did it. Here's another view kind of where we came from, as you guys can see. Um, it's a good hike. I mean, some people think that you have to do this tremendously long hike to really get any type of benefit as far as cardio or to some degree strength training. It's not true at all. Difficulty of the hike, steepness of grade, climb, it all uh, makes a difference. So let's keep moving forward.
Hey everybody. So as you can see, we've made it to the dry, dry waterfalls at the top of the switchbacks here at Goat Camp uh, Trail in the White Tanks Regional Park. And you can see from the view behind me, let me step out of the way really quick, you know, we've come a long way. There's a lot of vertical feet to be gained, not to mention the difficulty of the switchbacks. Um, right now we're sitting at 2.57 miles, so round trip's actually going to be a total of five miles just over. Going down is always easier to some degree uh, than coming up because you have gravity working with you, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be any less uh, we need to use any less caution. Those steep gradients, lose your footing, you're gonna slip and gravity's no longer gonna be your friend at that point, so. Um, and as you can see, I mean, it's a good workout, you know. Um, even with the cooler temperatures, you are gonna work up a sweat and you're definitely gonna feel it in your, uh, your legs for sure. Um, I have no complaints though. I mean, again, gorgeous views, gorgeous morning. And this is one of the reasons why we do what we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the gear at this point and gonna head back, shoot a little bit more B-roll. And then I'll give a total final assessment once I get back to the vehicle that includes that downhill hike uh, back to the parking area. So I didn't even bring snacks today. Can you believe that? I remembered everything today except for sacks, and that's one thing you shouldn't do, especially on a longer hike. But this one's a short one. I ate a hearty breakfast, so no big worries there. So, all right, guys, let's get the gear packed up and head on back down. All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, we're leaving the dry waterfall area and we're heading back down to the vehicle. I don't know if you noticed that trail continued to the right and that's the rest of Goat Camp Trail uh, which eventually connects to Mesquite Canyon, Ford Canyon, and Willow Canyon. But that's a hike for another day. <laughs> it's a very long loop. Um, we'll definitely get to it though. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, on that downhill, as I alluded to, you have to be careful. Gravity is our friend. It's gonna help us get down uh, these switchbacks with a little bit more efficiency and a little bit less pounding on the legs, but it can also be our enemy. If we're moving too fast, uh, especially with the weight of the pack and everything, we lose our footing, uh, we're gonna fall. <laughs> and we ain't gonna stop because at that point, gravity's gonna keep us moving. So it's just good to be careful, but uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's finish out the hike strong, get back to the vehicle, and uh, look at the assessment. All right, everybody, so we've made it to the bottom of the switchbacks, officially the bottom of the switchbacks, and this is pretty much where the trail gets significantly easier. Uh, of course, this is relative term and based on what we've already done, and yeah, the sun's just, so apologize for any lackluster <laughs> video as far as that goes, but you guys aren't here to critique me on my video gathering capabilities with a GoPro or more the trail assessment itself. So from here, we have hmm, roughly two miles, uh, a little less than two miles to get back to the vehicle. And for the most part, there's no surprises. So uh, downhill, just wanna pay attention, keep your eyes open, watch for that, you know, boulder sticking out of the rock garden that'll, you know, twist your ankle or bash your toe or something like that. Uh, <laughs> So not the time again, there's never a time to be complacent. So, but this close to the end of the hike, definitely it would be a tragedy to injure yourself, even if it was just a slight injury. So yeah, let's keep going. We're almost there. Another uh, 30 minutes or so, depending on, you know, how much I lollygag. <laughs> so let's keep moving forward. Well, that can only mean one thing, guys. We are almost back to the vehicle, about one mile. So it's been a good hike so far. Uh, we're a little over four miles, uh, according to the Garmin. 
Um, you know, again, going back is always easier. You get a little bit of a downhill gradient to help you along. If the sun's come up, it's definitely warmed up a little bit. I really wasn't worried about shedding one of the layers at this point. Why waste the time? I'll burn off the extra calories. <laughs> My fat ass needs it. Um, but yeah, so from here on out, easy peasy, one mile, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. Now, well, this sign can only mean one thing, folks. And we're right. Just about back to the parking area, so, which is a good thing, because my puppies are kind of barking, and uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> Again, never, ever forget to bring your snacks. Long hike or short hike, bring snacks. So, but regardless, we're almost there. All right, everybody, so we made it back to the vehicle and the distance was 5.31 miles, which is actually pretty good for an out and back. I don't call this a loop because we didn't travel in any type of circle. It was to the dry waterfall and back to the vehicle. Trail Forks does have this rated. I should say Goat Camp Trail rated as a double black diamond. If you are a mountain biker, absolutely. There are sections you will have to push your bike. Gnarly sections, ugly sections, I'm talking super ugly sections. If you're a hiker or a trail runner, I would say at the most, I would rate this at a black diamond, but I'd still be hard pressed. I'd say this is an intermediate trail. Now, all that being said, who is this out and back for? Well, if you're a beginning trail runner, hiker, trail walker, and you're looking to up your fitness level and your stamina, this is for you. If you're an advanced hiker, trail runner, trail walker and you don't have time for that 8, 10, 12 mile uh, hike, this is actually for you as well because those switchbacks are what make the difference. The switchbacks are going to push you, push you to the level of your physical fitness and really test you in that way. Now coming down is always you know, more fun again because of gravity helping you out but you still want to be mindful. Goat camp um, trail is filled with rock gardens. A lot of little those round, you know, river rocks sticking up out of the dirt protruding, a lot of loose uh, rock in some areas. You just want to be mindful. Everybody remember what loose rock did to me on the trail. So you just want to be careful. All in all, it's a great little five mile out and back. I highly suggest it if you're in the area or you're looking for something that you know it could be a go-to on days you don't have a lot of time, but you still want to get out there and enjoy yourself. So that's it, guys, from the White Tanks Regional Park in Waddell, Arizona. I want to wish you guys uh, a great day. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you like this video, if you like the other videos. If you're like, man, we just want to tune in to see what that crazy bastard's going to say next, definitely do that. Like and subscribe. As always, be kind to yourself and others. Be great stewards on the trail. And I got to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out, Arizona. Guys, take care. We'll see you on the next adventure.